Well, hello my friends, welcome to another video today. Back here on Davies Dash, we're going to head back down uh, to the legislation building uh, and check out what's going on. As of yesterday, which would be, what is the date today? Today is the 13th of February, so it's a Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday the 12th, Manitoba uh, informed the world that we would be the latest province to start dropping mandates. Um, what does that mean? Uh, so we're going to be moving from code red to yellow um, and they're going to be ending the vaccination card program as well as the mask mandates by March 15th, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm just reading a little bit about it here on the news. Um, and they're trying to play it off like this wasn't anything to do with the trucker protests and rallies that are going on around Canada. Um, but the NDP leader, Bob Canoe, he is not agreeing with that. He's saying that it is absolutely because of, of them giving in to the convoy. So, way to go truckers. That's the way I look at it. Anyways, I'm just scarfing down a couple hot dogs here. And, uh, I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to head on down to legislature, uh, the legislature building here in uh, Winnipeg and check out what is going on, you know? So, you know, might as well get on down to the, get on down with my fellow Nazis and white supremacists down to the insurrection and see what the hell is going on. It's probably so violent down there that, you know, it's what all, it's all, it all I'm hearing about the news, man. It's all crap. So, you want to follow good news? Follow YouTube. Follow the creators that are actually bringing it to you live. Not these mainstream media people. They're all bullshit and Fuck CBC too. Alright, let's get on down there. This is an adventure I'm never going to forget, I tell you what. It's hard to understate the historical significance of what we're watching right here. The Canadian Trucker Convoy is the single most successful human rights protest in a generation. If nothing else, it has been a very useful reminder to our entitled ruling class. The working class men can be pushed, but only so far. When they push back, it hurts. But Justin Trudeau won't. And he's decided he doesn't have to, because the truckers, as he's explained, have no legitimate complaint. They're racists, so we're not required to listen to them. It is cold, minus uh, 31 with the wind chill, snowing, Manitoba. There's a good proof right there, trying to get that thing warmed up enough. Get the oil pan warmed up so she'll turn over. And there's a good crowd out here today. Everybody's lost in the snow. We'll take a walk up there. Trudeau State broadcasters have been repeating these lies over and over and over again for maximum effect. Pravda, Parabin Brezhnev. That's what they do. What's striking, however, is that the media in our country claim to be independent, but they've been doing the very same thing. Watch. Some of the organizers of this protest, which, as I mentioned, started more than a week ago, they do want to overthrow the government. Canadian officials calling the situation a, quote, nationwide insurrection. The police chief says COVID protests are a, quote, nationwide insurrection 
driven by madness. A nationwide insurrection driven by madness. I'm just think of the language. I know it sounds familiar to you, right? A threat to democracy, a, an insurrection, sedition. The police say that they are under-resourced and they are overwhelmed. They have said that this city is under siege. But it's not just truckers. There's a lot of, I, I, I've heard there's QAnon supporters in the crowd. Residents that I have spoken to who say they feel terrorized, intimidated. It's a cult. <laughs> it's a cult. They're Nazis and they're crazy. Insurrectionists on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Imagine. Now they're using these smears because typically they work. Just dismiss these people. Don't listen to them. They didn't go to college. But what Justin Trudeau apparently didn't count on is that a handful of independent journalists are committing journalism inside Canada. And a free press works. That's why we have it. Or did. So instead of repeating state-mandated talking points like their journalists do and the morons in our press corps do, these independent reporters have been broadcasting hours-long interviews with the truckers themselves in their cabs, totally unfiltered. So you can decide what you think. You can actually make your own judgment about reality. So you watch these streams for just a few minutes and you realize that these truckers, whatever their faults may be, are far less odious and much harder working than the journalists and the politicians who are nuts. Ottawa who deserve to be harassed in their own neighborhoods. They deserve to be confronted with the inherent violence of a swastika flying on a street corner or a Confederate flag or the insults and jeers just because they're wearing masks. That's not what Canada and Canadians are. So they're not even Canadians, they're Nazis. So you don't have to hear anything they say. They don't even belong here. They can go internally.